Hey everyone, it's the Cinema Dude. I hope you are all well and staying safe. Uh, so I got some awesome packages in the mail today. Uh, all Criterions uh, from both eBay and from Criterion.com. Uh, the Criterion.com, I got a special uh, gift certificate through them. And so I use that on two releases that I wanted to get. So let's check out what I got. Um, these are really uh, cool releases that I've been looking forward to. Um, one of them that I found was a white whale for me, and I've been really looking forward to it, and when I saw the price of this, I had to jump on it. So, let's check them out. So, the first one I got, and this one I was one of them I got from eBay, is Valerie and Her Week of Wonders. Uh, this is a 1970 film, and it is spine number 761. And what interests me about this film, and all these films that I've gotten... Um, the Criterion ones, are all blind buys for me. So what interests me in uh, Valerie and Her Week of Wonders is it kind of falls under that fantasy slash horror kind of sub-genre. Um, it does deal with vampires and witchcraft and things like that, but the way it's presented is not true horror, um, what it was looking like. So, and it's like kind of um non-linear and it's kind of all over the place so it's really interesting so this one is uh is in check with uh english subtitles uh it is a new 4k restoration uh there's some uh early shorts from the director on here uh there's a new and some other interviews and then an alternative 20 or 2007 uh soundtrack on here so Again, this is Valerie in her Week of Wonders. I'm really looking forward to checking that one out. So, the uh, next two are the ones I got from Criterion.com. And they're films I've been looking at to get. Um, one, the first one is Roma, Alfonso Cuaron's uh, 2018 um, film about kind of early 70s Mexico City um, taking from his childhood. Uh, this was one of the ones that was kind of highly praised when it came out. And so on here, there's a lot. This one is packed with special features. Uh, 4K Digital Master. There's documentary, tons of documentaries. Road to Roma, Snapshots from the Set. Uh, uh, stuff about the sound's design and post-production process. Uh, the film's ambig ambiguous, uh, excuse me, ambitious uh, theatrical campaign and social impact in Mexico. Uh, another documentary, uh, a booklet. So this thing is packed. Now this one was one of the Netflix releases. Um, so now Netflix has partnered with Criterion and they're releasing a few of these movies that were first released on Criterion or I'm sorry, on Netflix to the Criterion Collection for physical releases. So I'm really excited. This is the start. Um, they have Marriage Story coming up. They have Portrait, Portrait of a Lady on Fire, but I believe that was Hulu, though. Um, they have The Irishman, which I'm really excited when that one comes out. So they have a whole bunch of these that are going to be coming. Um, this is Fine 1014. Um, and I'm really, really excited to check this one out. So the other one that I also picked up from uh, the Criterion site itself was an Eclipse box set. So if you don't know what the Eclipse set is, it's a subset of the Criterion collection where they do DVD-only sets um, based on a theme. So it could be a director, it could be a film movement, um, it could be a studio. So I have a few of them. I have a Kurosawa set. I have sets on um, the Czech New Wave film movement. Um, I have some like 70s obscure science fiction set. So it runs the gamut. And this one is the first films of Samuel Fuller, the famed American director. Um, I have another box set, which is actually behind me right there, and that is the indicator box set of some of his films when he was at Columbia. 
So these are his first films uh, included in this set are I Shot Jesse James, The Baron of Arizona, and The Steel Helmet um, from 1949, 1950, and 1951 respectfully. So with these you kind of get some liner notes in the packaging and you get the movies themselves. There's no special features. It's kind of very bare bones, but you get to explore whatever it is, a film movement, a director, um, through these. So it kind of is almost your gateway into saying, oh, you know what? I like Samuel Fuller, so I'm going to check out some of his other stuff. So again, this is uh, a clip set number five, and it's the first films of Samuel Fuller. Oh, I definitely got glare on there. Sorry about that. So the last one I got from eBay, and usually this one is over $200 um, and because it is out of print. It's actually the only Eclipse set that is out of print as of April 2020. Uh, when I saw the price of this, I had to jump on it. It was probably a third or less of what it was, and I'm really glad that I can get it into my collection now, and that is Eclipse set number six. And it is Carlos Suarez Flamenco Trilogy. So these are a trilogy of films from the 80s, uh, starting in 81. And they merge dance. And it, it's more about the dance aspect of it. Um, but there's also a story to it as well. So there's, you know, electronic cinematography, editing the colors in the film and it kind of just all blends into this trilogy so there are three films on here uh blood wedding uh we have carmen and we also have el amor rujo so um i'm again like i said i'm really excited to have this in my collection um this is something that i'll be able to cherish now as i got it for a a decent price but b i can actually check out these films there are um, a Blu-ray release of this, but just to have this as part of the Eclipse set and to kind of have more of a complete set kind of, you know, makes it more um, fulfilling and stuff. So, so again, so the Flamenco Trilogy, the first films of Samuel Fuller, Roma, and Valerie and Her Week of Wonders were the uh, four titles I got. So I hope everyone is staying safe, staying healthy. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is actually one of my first videos in a long time. Um, but I'm definitely going to be producing more videos. And I just kind of hope um, you guys enjoy this. So um, once again, check out those if uh, you think you're interested. Um, there's definitely, like I said, a lot to the Criterion Collection. There are over a thousand titles right now. So there's something for everyone, you know. Um, so you can always find something you might be into, whether it's David Lynch movies to, you know, a samurai epic to horror movies. There's something there for everybody. So definitely check them out. I also recommend the Eclipse series too if you want to just maybe start getting into some um, directors or you already like a certain director and you want to go see what they've done in the past to see how they got to that point of maybe the movie that you enjoy. So yeah, definitely check them out. So I want to just let you guys know, be kind and rewind. See you guys next time.